Dude, you're huge. I always wanted to play guitar um, when I was a little girl. I got a guitar for Christmas that I didn't play. I just remember it being a little tiny guitar that I had. We ended up selling or something. I never actually played it. I think around that time, this guitar was bought for my brothers, I believe. I don't think anyone in my family really knows how to play it. Now that, you know, I've been playing baritone ukulele, which is like a ukulele, but big and tuned. What is it? DGBE? It's the last four strings of a regular guitar. I've been wanting to actually learn how to play guitar even more. And we have this little beauty right here. The Fender whatever. I don't know. My mom used to work in a pawn shop. But this beauty right here is huge. So yeah, um, playing this is trouble. Oh, that's what it's called. A Fender DG22CE Nat. Oh, my hands are- Crafted in Korea? What? I have my laptop right here. And I think I'm going to purchase a guitar today. There is this guitar that I found on Amazon, but now I'm on the actual website. What is it called? The Dana or Dana Mahogany Mini Guitar. A nice little slim bodied guitar. It's cheap. It's in my range. I don't know, it's very tempting and we still in quarantine. So what better time to learn how to play another instrument than when you have to stay inside all the time. And I'm starting to think I want to buy it. Free shipping on all orders, US only. Ah! I'm tempted because I'm not trying to be professional, at least not right now, but I'm trying to start. And this seems like one of my best options. And I think I'm about to buy it. Ah! Yeah, no, I'm not gonna focus on that. Let me take a moment. I would like to thank the Academy for allowing me to purchase a guitar today. I'm I'm too dramatic. <sighs> Guys, I am now an owner of a guitar. Well, I I'm, I'm sorry, but you were never mine. Guess we'll just have to wait and see what comes next. Okay, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a week or two. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh <laughs> It is Friday. It's only been two days, and I just got an email saying that I'll have my package by today. Even though earlier it said by tomorrow. Friday, July 31st, two days after I ordered it. That's crazy! What? Orange would- Bruh, I think I'm in love with you already. <laughs> I'm wearing the same shirt, okay? It's only been two days, don't judge me. <laughs> if I do see, I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. I'm just really freaking excited right now and uh, oh blurry hi focus but yeah I'm just really excited okay okay I can't okay okay <laughs>
they signed it. That's pretty cool. It feels very personal. Wow. Sexy. Let's compare it to my baritone. This is such a... God, okay. And I love this mahogany. Like, and the finish. Uh, I don't know if you could see that, but that's freaking gorgeous. No, I don't want to get that big. Should I compare? Yeah, okay. For you people who also want to get it. Much different in size. I can't really... It's shorter. Oh, I'm just so in love with the way this guitar looks. It just looks so professional and well done. I don't really name my instruments, so they're just kind of there. But I feel like with guitars, you just have to name... You know what? My baritone ukulele is named Barry. Why not? My concert ukulele, Connie, I don't want you to be Dana because that's what you're manufactured to be and I want you to be special. You are now named Danny and that could be gender neutral. Gender neutral guitar. Yeah, it's already out of tune. You gotta keep tuning it until it, ah, until it starts being like, oh, I'm supposed to stay that way? What is it? Like an hour later, I found the optional... What is this called? You could put it here. What is it called? Pick guard. It's called a pick guard. Pick guard. Hi, I only have like four minutes left on my uh, SD card, so I'm gonna make this fast. Alexa, stop. I don't want to get copyrighted. So this little beauty right here, little Danny right here. People don't usually, you know, review the guitar. I mean, what? Usually the reviews end on the day that they get it. And then that's it. Of course you're gonna be really excited. That affects the psycholog psychological part of how you feel towards something when it's all new. And you're all like, oh, it's perfect. And you wanna be like, oh, that was money well spent. Well, it's been a couple weeks now. And yes, I've noticed some things. With my perfect um, pitch ears. I don't actually have perfect pitch. When I press on strings, you know, specifically this low E string, you can hear there's a sharpness to it. It bothers me. So I actually did send them an email. I what? I shot them an email and I was like, yo, what up? What up with this? Is it just a manufacturing issue? Is it the fact that it's a new guitar and the strings have to warm up? And yes, that is the answer. That was the answer. They suggested I pull on the strings a bit. The quality does still sound really good and it is like a really nice built tiny guitar for just 125 and the fact that it's free shipping for um how much you spend it's like a nice little starter guitar and you can bring it everywhere because compared to a guitar like this I can barely hold it up like as much as I want to play this because it's it's fender and it's acoustic electric um this body is huge and this is it's nice play it still <laughs> okay I'm running out of time but anyway that is my little update on the guitar I am enjoying it so far and I like the fact that I can easily now switch over to this big one if I were to want to put on performances or something but otherwise this is a nice little guitar that's helping me start out and I believe I can become um adequate Okay, I'm running out of time. Okay, I'll see you guys next time on my channel or whatever. It's been two months since I last posted, but that's it. <laughs> okay, bye.